Welcome to Phineas J. Leghart's The Small Secret, one of our smallest kits. Everything's packed really tight in there, so this is just a brief video to walk you through packing and unpacking. So first thing, the first time you get your kit, uh, it's going to be packed for shipping. Now when you get it, when you open it up, first one of the first things you're going to notice is this right here. Now this contains your hand-aged manual and, letter, and letters, so you want to be very careful when you open it. It'll be taped shut. Now once you open it, inside of course will be your hand-aged letter from Phineas. I'll show you here. And your hand-aged manual. Now let's take a look at unpacking the small secret. We open it up and as you can see, it's a very compact kit. Everything's packed in very tightly, but very easy to get to everything. Right here in the front, we have a section for our stakes, and these are oak stakes. They just drop in, one facing one way, one facing the other. Then we have the rest of the kit here inside. We have the mustard seeds, and they go right next to the cross, the cross stakes. That comes out. Then we have the garlic powder, which is in the side compartment here. Then we have the holy water. Now the holy water in shipping will be empty. Uh, that's to make sure that it doesn't leak and destroy the kit in shipping. Uh, when you get it, you can put water in it or you can leave it empty. Um, I usually leave mine empty just to make sure that there's no leakage. It still gives a real nice look. So just put it right there. Now let's move on to unpacking the rest of the kit. First thing is we're going to want to take out the first cross stake. Then below the first cross stake is the wooden mallet. And it's especially designed to fit in this case. Then we have our rosary beads. Now the style of rosary beads may vary depending on when you purchased your kit, but they all go in the same way and I'll show you how to repack those in a minute. Now below that is our second cross stake. So we have two red oak cross stakes and the mallet. Now to repack, first we'll put in the first cross stake, which fits right in like that. Then next we put in the wooden mallet. Just drops into place. Then we put in the rosary beads. Now the rosary beads are going to fit in the section between the crossbar on the cross stake and the handle of, of the mallet. So it goes in, it actually goes a little bit over the crossbar of the cross stake and then back over next to the mallet. Now the reason for that is to give it enough room to fit in so it'll fit nice and tight. Then I normally take the second cross stake, drop that into place, and then I can fit this nice and neat with the cross up on top. And you can see that fits nice and snug. Then we take our garlic powder, and we put that in its compartment. Then we take the holy water, put that in its compartment. Then we have the mustard seeds, which goes next to the cross, the cross stake, between the cross stake and the regular stakes. And as you can see, everything closes up nice and tight. If it moves around, shifts, anything like that, doesn't matter. Everything stays packed exactly as it should be. Okay, if you have any questions, you can always reach me at walter at mysteriouspast.com, or you can go to our website and contact me through there, which is www.mysteriouspast.com. Enjoy your kit!